Okay, so today we are going to be replacing this package unit. So we want to explain what is all involved so that you know exactly what you're getting when you purchase a new heat pump or air conditioner. This AC is about 20, 20 years old and this is not going to be in every job but if you see this duct at the bottom here it's not big enough for the new air conditioner to have proper airflow so we are going to make that a little bigger you see that that's too small so we'll show you what that looks like step by step okay so we'll take it apart and then we will show you the next step from there. Mike's already working on that. Okay, so we got it all taken apart. There is the old AC. We turned it on the side. There's the opening. So again, this is all coming out, including this old ductwork that's not sealed in any, any joint. All that is going to be replaced. So we'll show you the next step when we get there. Placing all this pipe that is wrapped with insulation and we're replacing it with flexible. You see the old stuff down there too. Okay, so here's the new jack in place and they're replacing the ductwork inside of there. You can see that new one. So now they're going to have a lot more return and a lot more ductwork on the right side. All right, so we'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so this is what you don't see from outside is the new ductwork that we have here. It used to be rigid pipe. Now it's flexible. And we put in a new duct here that goes all the way to the master bedroom for better, better airflow. So they can remove some of that heat from the master bedroom and a little bit better air circulation so it feels more comfortable. It's one of the things we do. And this square duct is also new. We installed it today. And then we have new duct here. It's a little difficult to see now, but that goes and ties into it's difficult to see from this angle because I'm in an attic. It goes down that way, circles, and then ties into the existing metal trunk that is buried inside of a soffit in the hallway. And then this duct here goes all the way down there to a kitchen, and that was also new. And it's all strapped up. So that's what we do in the attic in this in this occasion. Every house is different, but that's what we did in this in this home. This is the new return that we cut in the master bedroom. Filter and grill. All right, everyone. So here we are. We installed the new jack, the new ductwork, the new return, and the new supply ductwork is there and it's all sealed up. We have our unit we install new thermostat wire, okay, to eliminate all variables. And now we are gonna go ahead and set the unit in the elbow in place. So we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so now we have everything nice and sealed up. Nice and sealed up. Our new elbow. Every seam is sealed with duct sealant that hardens. So now we're gonna put the unit into place. Okay, so this is the finished product. As you can see, we already tarred down there. We tarred the new jack. We have the new elbow that's insulated on the inside and all sealed up. Our new train, our new drain line, the new stand that it sits on, new electrical and sealed from the roof on out is new. We also sealed 
put a little bit of tar where the old stand used to sit because it left the print there. And we do put isolation pads underneath so that the AC doesn't sit directly on the stand. So that reduces the noise quite a bit. And that is it. This is, uh, we didn't use the old drain because it's pretty brittle and we don't want it to leak inside of the roof. So we ran it to the next best location according to what the homeowner wanted. And that's it. So today we installed a 16 seer two stage train and that compressor is actually a two speed compressor and it has a variable speed blower. So to be able to control all that you do need to have a smart thermostat and this is actually the Nexia by train. So of course it's going to tell you the temperatures but it also tells you the outdoor temperature, the humidity and what it's doing. So this is a required thermostat or something compared to this the equivalent of this is required because if you don't have it then it's not going to be able to increase and decrease its speeds uh, which is how it was designed so that's all for comfort and obviously saves you money but uh, so this is the thermostat that it came with and that's it that's all we have so thank you for watching